I've got this comment from Drill Monty, and uh, Drill Monty is one of the Patreons, and he said, uh, can I make a tutorial on how to make a Goomba-like enemy? And because we let our Patreons do whatever they want, here's the tutorial. So I've got two sprites here. I've got a player sprite, which is just a 16 by 16 cube. I've got a Goomba sprite, which is another 16 by 16 cube. I'm going to rename that one Goomba. The Goomba sprite has an animation with two frames. It's got frame zero, which is just the 16 by 16 cube, which I've colored brown. Then it has frame one, which is just a little strip of brown at the bottom. And I've changed, if you click on the collision polygon, I've changed the collision polygon to just the actual part of the sprite because when the, if there's a collision involved um, it's going to bounce off of this top line and if he's in this state or this frame I don't want him bouncing off at the top here it will just look a bit weird so just make sure the uh, collision polygon is exactly around the actual image of whatever it is that you're using. The event sheet which is linked to the layout has no events on it the only thing I've added is a platform behavior to the player sprite and I've changed the max speed it, this is not really relevant this is just what I like in terms of how it feels I've got default control set and uh, let's now program in how to make it so when you jump on this little guy's head you squish him and then you bounce off so head over to the event sheet and let's add our first event and let's go to player and let's do a check to see if the player is falling. Because if the player is falling, it means we've jumped and we're on our way down. Let's now, with this block selected, hit B on the keyboard, double click, and then let's say player. And then let's say on collision with another object. And let's say Goomba. Okay, now let's add an action. And let's say Goomba. And let's set the frame to one go back to game just make sure that with the goomba animation you've set the animation speed to zero otherwise it will automatically play and you'll see this frame before you want to now let's go ahead and test and see what we've done so we can walk past him everything's fine we can jump there's no problem there if we're falling and we land on him we've squashed him but that's not quite good enough yet so let's add another action to this uh, this first sub event here add an action and say player and let's now go ahead and set a y vector which is basically simulating jump so we're going to say set y vector at minus 300 now i've said minus 300 because on the player on the platform behavior my jump strength is 300 now a better way to do this would be to right click add a global variable called jump strength give it a number of 300 and then you could just set this instead of minus 300 you could set it to minus jump strength that way if you get power ups or want to upgrade your, your player's ability or even put settings in where the player can control how high they jump you can just set a variable uh, set a condition up to change this variable and it will automatically change the jump strength so now if I play it when I land on him there we go and I bounce off you can see though that when I land on him, even when he's in his squish state, I still do a little bounce. So let's go back and add another condition. So we're going to select this second or this first sub event. We're going to push B on the keyboard to create another sub event. We're going to double click and we're going to check to see what frame the Goomba is on. So we're going to compare the frame. I'm going to say if it's equal to zero, which means that he's still up and walking about, then we're going to do the jump. Uh, the minus jump strength action. So now when I jump on him for the first time You can see that he squishes and he doesn't jump and the reason that's happening is because we're triggering the on collision Event and we're setting the Goomba's animation frame to one before we tell the system to do the jump if it's frame zero So as soon as we as soon as we land on him, we're never actually going to get the we're never going to get to this event because we've already triggered it to frame one, if that makes sense. Grab this event here. Not the whole block, just the middle bit. You can click and drag and we'll drag it up and we'll make it a condition to the top is falling. So now, well, so now what the, 
So now what the block reads is if we're falling and the Goomba's animation is zero, when we collide with him, we set the animation frame to one and then we do the jump. But let's put the jump in above. So we definitely do the jump first. Then we set him to one and then we should be good to go. There we go. And that's it. If you found the tutorial useful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing for more tutorials on Construct 3. If you've got a suggestion for a tutorial, you can drop it on the Discord channel. There's a link to the Discord in the description. And if you are one of the wonderful, amazing Patreons, then I will fast track your suggestion and get that tutorial made ASAP. And speaking of Patreons, I would like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to Fuzel CC, Mario Lewis, Enmark Games, Jess Matt, Tor, Hammock Alexanderson, Martin K, Davey Ragnarok, John Allegreza, Dan, Matt Nixon, Jordan Lane, Callum Keane, Simon Babanel, Draven, Iker, Rero, Martinez, Chris Massinio, and Drill Moon TV. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for supporting the game dev journey. And for more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description.